there, my Zaniacs. Welcome back to Life is Strange Before the Storm. Now, we are here at the old uh, mill, sure barn, or whatever, looking for Sarah, who is tied up and in danger if we don't give her money from the DA, or Rachel's father, and he has no idea that it was Chloe texting him and not Chloe's dad. So this might be one heck of a pickle I'm in here. I'm Shit. not sure. Where are they? Move? Don't mess with Damon Merrick. Don't tell me what to do. I want to graffiti that. <clears throat> Glad to see you. Bong the on the floor. No more beer. No more time. I've got to keep moving. A knife. Oh, hello. Take that. Just in case. Where's the homicidal drug dealer, spooky deerhead? <laughs> okay. Um. Can I? Okay, I can't go that way. Guessing I go in here. No. Shh. Everything's going to be. Just fine. Just a little longer, and all your troubles are going bye bye. What the fuck? I just want to meet my daughter. Can't you understand why does your he. Daughter? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> so that's what he's worried about. Can't let the public know the mother of his daughter is some junkie. I just want to see her. You don't have to- Shut up. James Amber wants you out of the picture. So that's what's going to happen. That's not true. This is so messed up. After all, no one believes a junkie. No. He said you've been sober a year. Respect. It's hard to this kick. This dude is shit. messed up. You can do this. Damon. What the hell are you doing here? I've got your money right here. The money James owes you? How the fuck do you run? No one has to know. Just... Just let her go, and I won't say... Oh, how dare you. No. Talking's over. Leave her alone. Shut up. What the fuck? You boosted the DA's shit? Got my money? Burn the evidence? All that? I'm just... trying to help. Get away. Jerk! I said shut the fuck up! She did everything he wanted and he's sitting there kicking her in the freaking ribs. Let 
this be a lesson, kid. Make good life choices, or you'll end up like her. Now, what do I do with... Damon! What did you do? Oh, 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 oh. I fucked you up good, <sighs> didn't I? God, that dude is me in jail. <clears throat> Glad to see you back on your feet. Chloe. Frank. You don't really want to do this again, do you? Okay. Then I don't want to do this again. Come on. Take your money and go somewhere else, dude. Wow, right in the head. Sarah. <clears throat> Rachel. Your daughter. She... What the heck, man? Yeah, some people, I guess, even if they get their way, they're still a jerk. Big jerk. Sarah? Chloe Price. You know who I am? I saw you in the play. You were funny. Thanks. Sarah, are you okay? We need to talk about what happened. What? I am so, <coughs> so sorry. Rachel can never know. You need help. I, I think you need help. Let me, let me call someone, or something. I need you to listen. What James did, hiring that thug, shooting me up with him. He's a piece of shit. And I promise that Rachel can never know. Tell me why. Doesn't she deserve to know what her father did? No. Rachel deserves a loving father. A father who cares for her. James is a liar. James is a desperate man who loves his daughter. Mm. And she loves him. Tell her what happened here. And you <coughs> take it away from her. Forever. And just what is James protecting her from? You... She wants to meet you, Sarah. No, she doesn't. She wants to meet her mother. I can never be that for her. Why are you saying the this? Heck? Because James is right. <clears throat> He's taken something from me that I might not ever get back. But he's right. I'm broken. Everybody's freaking broken. Everybody's broken, Sarah. Oh? Does everybody abandon their own child for 15 years? Does everybody take money to stay away? No. You're here now. That's what matters. But I don't see her going and crying to a psychologist no, either, talking about all the problems that's going through your head, which some people do not also. Lots. Not everybody is <laughs> going to be broken in one form. I lost my father two years ago. How? Car accident. He was... He was picking up my mother from the grocery store, and a truck ran a red light, and that was it. I'm sorry. <laughs> he 
You don't know what this is to me. Every pain. Every fear. Gone. No more sadness. No more grief. Uh -huh. Why would anyone not want to feel that way? Ever. I read your letter to James. You beat this before. You can beat it again. No. I can't. I, I recognize... Yeah, it's not that I she can't, it's that she doesn't want to. I'm talking about here, but... I, just, <clears throat> I wish you could know how amazing Rachel is. I gotta... I know. <laughs> I muted myself to cough, and I'm still sitting here trying to clear my throat. Brilliant and talented. And she feels so much. She's so strong. She's had a good life. Raised in a loving home. Given opportunities I could never give her. At least talk to her. She's felt like something's been missing her whole life. She told me so. That something was you. She didn't miss anything. She has a perfect family. No. Even without all this shit, the Ambers are far from perfect. James is an elitist asshole and... and Rose lets him walk all over her. Maybe. What Rachel needs, though, is not to have her father taken away from her. <sighs> he doesn't it's deserve... It's not about James. It's not about me, and it's not about you. It's about Rachel. What the heck? Tell her what James did, and you'll be <clears throat> killing him for her. You understand that, don't you? You lost your father. Do you really want to put Rachel through that? Don't you want to see her? I want to see her? <laughs> you came here for it. You got sober. You deserve the chance to know your daughter. Nothing can change the mistakes I made. I'll so what? Be Rachel's mother. Not really. You're but the one that gave day. birth to her. You're her mother. Still do. The only thing I can do. Let me give her the father she deserves. The one who raised her. Oh, dang this. Protected her. The one who loves her more than anything. Come on, lady. You can do whatever you want, Chloe. You have the power. What you have to decide is whether you're going to protect Rachel or cause her even more hurt. You're sitting here so giving me this big old talk, you know, sitting here, here being all adult and everything. Be an adult and meet your freaking daughter. Without me. She already knows about you. It's not going to change. Wait. Here, Rachel gave this to me. She said she's had it her whole life. Since she was a baby. I... I gave it to her. She'd want you to have it. Thank you, Chloe. Mm-hmm. How can someone just walk away like that? What do I do? Rachel's 
just fallen asleep. As have all the rest of you. <laughs> I know she'll be thrilled to see you when she wakes up. Maybe come back a little later. Hey. Go back to sleep, kiddo. You need your rest. Can I talk to Chloe? Alone? For a minute? Okay, sweetie. We'll be right outside. I still don't get how come they don't have her covered up with a blanket in a hospital bed. It really throws me off, especially since I watch so much Scrubs. <laughs> how are you feeling? Like I got stabbed. <laughs> Doc says there'll be a sick scar. Maybe a tattoo is in order. Well, there you go. Yeah. We never actually escaped. Did we? We've got time. All the time in the world. So, how did everything go? Oh, God. <laughs> Rachel, I've got to tell you something. I don't know if it's going to give me the chance to or not. Is it a decision I make or is... Oh. <clears throat> Uh, <laughs> um, maybe there will be a better way for her to meet her mother in the future. Maybe. Hey. What's wrong? I failed you. I couldn't find her. I'm so sorry. Honey, you seem so confident. I really thought you'd find her. Yeah. Me too. Maybe we can try tomorrow. M maybe she hasn't left town yet. Of course. I know. Wherever she is, she loves you very much. Except for the thing is, if they do find her, um, Rachel's gonna notice that bracelet. Because why should she be any different from the rest of us? She's going to ask about that bracelet. Thinking back on it now. I might be in trouble with Rachel, but I don't know. And of course, I don't know why it... I mean, I guess they just play music over... Okay. Can I just skip through these? No. No. So they're buddies, I guess. <clears throat> he just poured one out for Damon Merrick. Did he kill Damon? Oh no, there's a proposal. It really bugs me that there can't be any voices of them talking during this part. But I know it's music that's going to get me copywritten. Or I fear that it is. 
Okay. <laughs> she totally flipped off the principal. Hey, why can't I hear what they're saying right there? And I guess she's talking about how she wants to meet her mom. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, did she... That's where she did it. She finally went all blue with her hair, like when she met Max um, in the first Life is Strange. Now her hair is all blue. Looks like there's a little violet on top there. Could just be lighting, I don't know. <clears throat> <laughs> Shuggered at a graffiti. Rachel was here. <laughs> it's a start. I assume but those are drawn on. I don't know. I don't think at that age they'd be able to go and get a bunch of tattoos like that, especially I mean, neither one of them have a job. How could they afford that? <laughs> Me and 51% didn't tell Rachel the truth. Okay. Uh. <laughs> what are they doing? Come on. Hey. 
Okay, so bonus episode. It won't let me do anything with it. I... Okay, so I guess that was the end of the game itself. Um... Where it says purchase install here on bonus episode farewell. Um, it takes you back and lets you play as Max a little bit. But if when I click on it, it takes me to the game page for the PlayStation Store. It's saying it is installed. But it won't let me do anything with it, so I don't know what to do with that. I mean, I can't do anything with it. <laughs> um, I was really hoping that, you know, aside from, uh, aside from them saying they wanted to run away, that it would show a bit more than them hanging out in the junkyard. I was kind of hoping that, I don't know, maybe there would be episode four road trip where, you know, they would get into a conversation about uh, Rachel's mother once and for all away from everybody else, but it didn't give me the opportunity. So, I mean, that it was pretty good um, but it feels like they left a lot out they could have taken it at least another episode further um, so I mean I guess the only thing I can do at this point is to thank you all for you know watching me play through Life is Strange Before the Storm and wish you all a good day and I know that um, I know that Life is Strange 2 is out, but not all the episodes are there yet. I may wait until they are to take that one up. So, until next time, I'm going to go find something to play. I'll see you all later, and you have a good day. Bye, everyone.